Okay, everyone, so we about to head inside of the Dollar Tree and let's go ahead and see what they have. I'm quite sure they already got some new items in from the last time I went shopping. But let's you guys, let's go ahead inside to see what this Dollar Tree has so I can go ahead and find some goodies. The first thing I see, you guys, is the metal pots. Now, they have had these metal pots for a long time at the Dollar Tree. This is like a staple right now at the Dollar Tree because uh, they have had this continuously many times uh, in many years in a row. And I like the colander one. I think this is a nice one as well. Now, they do have some more different ones online. So here's a six pack and a 12 pack. This is a great to start your starts in if you don't want to start it in solo cups or if you don't have any starter pots. Um, they have some beautiful colors this year. I noticed that they went with more pastel colors this year. And I think that is awesome that they have so many different um, shades this year than, than last year. Uh, and as well, these pots that I'm showing you right here, they actually have a water reservoir at the bottom. So they hold water so you don't have to worry about water in the consistent because you have a little bit of water at the bottom. Now I did show you those at, in the previous video at the Dollar Tree. Now here's some more water reservoirs. I do not like these pots right here. They tend to mold the ones that are supposed to break down. Now, I have yet to get that soft medium with them. So every time that I've used them, they have literally got mold. Okay, down here, these pots are nice size. Okay, you guys, they have right now between 8 and 10 inches. And I think that is a great size pot. Okay, I mean, just look at this um, blue. This blue color is just beautiful. And y'all know I have a little hints of blue in the garden. And I'm trying to actually go away from some um, some of the colors um, because I like to put in different pillows. But right here is these beautiful pots right here. This is a great size pot. This is actually 10 uh, inch pots. I mean, yes, these are 10 inch pots. This is a nice size pot. Um, I think I saw these last season, if I can recall. So this one right here, you guys, this looks like this is going to be it. Uh, eight inch pot and then the one next to it these are 10 inch pots now um, I have had these you guys they are great pots um, to grow lettuce in if you go way back into some of my old videos um, I had these pots the only thing that I see that I have a problem with them is that the Sun will bake them and they will crack um, I don't know what would you would do with this little pot <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. What would be your ideas with these little pots right here? Let me know in the comments. What would you do with them little teeny pots? The three, uh, what would you do with that small thing? Okay, so these are cute, you guys. These are little galvanized. I have the little water pitcher. I got it last year. Um, the bird houses are just super duper adorable. They're adorable. My mom really likes the water pitcher as well. Okay, so these are some feeders and I, I got an idea about this but I'm less like I could do something else with a little something a little cheaper but you guys I have a super duper idea with those um the clips you guys y'all do not recommend them <laughs> y'all do not recommend them a couple people here or there recommended them but a lot of you guys did not I think these are pretty I like when they got the black ones in stock I don't do the green but the black is pretty look at the new additions ah y'all look at the new additions look how pretty you guys are so pretty and shiny <laughs> so pretty and shiny you guys i really really was like oh you guys they are adorable <laughs> they are pretty um and they have so many different ones i really was liking this one because it was like simple clean you know if i had a welcome sign or uh, welcome to my greenhouse that would have been stuck on there I'm not even gonna lie I was like yep that would have been part of my my uh, welcome to my greenhouse okay but look at these cute little water pictures they have some beautiful welcome to my garden this one here is just beautiful I don't even think I would even paint them you guys dream dreams blossom this is so adorable um, here they got some butterflies very very cute you know the gloves you guys they just simple gloves I, you know gloves and over here they have the bee 
and as well they had the bird and my daughter would love 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 okay <laughs> in the far far back they had the ladybug okay they had the ladybug my daughter would love the ladybug isn't that cute <laughs> and it's super cute uh super cute i think i even would paint the dots the mushroom was adorable too I think between the ladybug and the mushroom. Now, you guys, this sign right here just says garden. Hello. Hello. Galvanized steel, you guys. All these were galvanized metal. Okay, so they don't supposed to rust. Galvanized. Okay, they don't supposed to rust. So, <clears throat> I was like, yep. <sighs> I'm going to get this one. So, the garden sign. I did pick up the garden sign. Very, very cute. Um, now I don't do the, um, I don't do the chimes or anything like that. Um, I ended up picking up a couple chimes last year, uh, for my daughter, but I don't like chimes. Um, my husband liked chimes. So I picked up some chimes last year. Um, they have some nice, uh, garden stakes that you can just stake into your garden. So here is some gnomes. If you're into gnomes. They have some really cute colors, you guys. I thought it were cute colors. I don't do gnomes. The bicycle was cute. <laughs> the bicycle was cute. They had this, I think, last year, the bicycle. I didn't see the gnomes last season. So, and as well over here, they had the tractors. They were just adorable. I think everything that I've seen um, at the Dollar Tree was so adorable. So far, um what I've seen that came in stock. Now, there are awesome items that are coming out. Um, hopefully, our area will get them. That would be very, very nice. But I hear I am definitely getting this sign. Now, over here in the $5, $3, $5 area, um, they had bigger pots. And I've seen these, you guys, at the Dollar General. And I think they were running 8 bucks. So, don't quote me on that, but I think they were $8, but here they're $5, so we might save a little coin um, by coming here and purchasing it from the Dollar Tree then the Dollar General, because I really do think these pots are running $8 at the Dollar General, but I would definitely check, I would definitely check to make sure, <laughs> but I don't quote me on it, but I do think so. Let me get my sign. Okay, so over here, they have more of the um, welcome signs, some chimes, they got a little bell, things like that. Um, I think all of this is adorable, especially the windmill. <laughs> the windmill, the windmill was just really cute. The crazy thing is that I don't, I don't like to post too much stuff out because if the wind blows and I have to pick all this stuff up. <laughs> so they have hanging pots. Um, the hanging pots you guys is great but i would change out the the rope and go and get the chain over there they do have the chain in there i would take the rope off and put the chain on i still think it still be a reasonable price because you will be able to uh keep the pot a lot longer i'll take that off and put the chain on and i'm hanging strawberries in mine so i think it's a great deal to utilize space by hanging um your fruit, especially your strawberries, out of those baskets. Like I showed you, like these are great for like lettuce. These are very small pots. These are great for um, lettuce and things like that. I mean, just, especially if you want to just pop things in different places. Now here are some more wood cuttings. I thought the wood cuttings were just beautiful, you guys. The wood cuttings, I wouldn't paint them. I really wouldn't paint them. I probably would put a high gloss on it so that they won't weather um, outside. But I really think they just beautiful just the way they are. Very clean, polished. Um, I like that. So here's a six pack. Okay. And uh, I think this was a six pack. And uh, my idea for these, you guys, is how adorable would this be to write your vegetables on them and stick it in your garden? Right? How cute would this be? So I really think that I'm going to go back and just pick up a couple so I can just label some of my garden. I think it just be really adorable to have, but you definitely will have to put um, something to make sure that they do not break down outside in weather, okay? Um, put some kind of high semi-gloss on it or something like that. 
where the water will roll off them okay so make your own sign go ahead and write whatever it is and then go ahead and um go ahead and um you know make sure they're weather resistant okay because if not the most likely they will break down in your garden but this is a absolutely adorable so i hope you guys truly enjoy the video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video and like i always tell you guys remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now